Hey there everyone and welcome to the Android training. In this video, we are going to talk about the Android lifecycle methods. Now, whenever you design any Android application, it already have those Android lifecycle method. One of the very famous one is an onCreate method. Now, whenever you design any Android application, whether it's a simple hello world or just a tap a button or any complex application that uses authentication system and all of that uses one of the very famous methods known as onCreate. But it doesn't mean that this is the only method of the life cycle. There are a couple of others as well. Now, all of these methods are already defined in your application somewhere in the back end. Sometimes you might want to override those methods and want to perform a specific task on that. Now, an application usually follows the four ways or it can just go through with the four path of the life cycles. And we'll be learning about more over what are these functions and how can that, how you can do that. Now, before I move on, a lot of you might be asking, hey, what is the use of these life cycle methods? Let me give you and point out a few examples that you can relate from your day to day life. Now, we obviously know that on create method is useful, whether you write a hello world application might want to select a button or text view or edit text. We just write the selectors of all of these in on create function because if they are not being created yet, how we can select them. Now, one of the such example can be login method. Now, let's just say in your application, you simply want to check out whether user has logged in or not. Now, one of the very good position to measure that change would be as soon as the application is started, not created as soon as it has started because uh, application starts at a lot of time. Maybe it is in the pause mode going back from there. Maybe one of the example that uh, some of the prime apps and uh, video based app that uses is whenever you are watching a video and pause that into a background mode and you come back from the background mode, usually uh, some of the application try to replay that video five seconds back so that you don't miss any action and you are in the consistent flow. So how you can do that, all of these things and all of such code is written on these lifecycle methods. And let's talk about more of these lifecycle method. I have got my iPad and uh, we'll be working on that. So let me show you what are these methods and how you can utilize them. So let me shrink up my uh, talking face and bring up my iPad there. Okay, so on the screen, you can see that we have got a few methods. And uh, basically, this is all what happens when your application is going on there. Now, the first in the gray phase, you can see that we have uh, simply a does not exist. So this is the part where application does not exist yet. It is about to be formed. It is about to be created. And on uh, after that, there is an at stop mode. So there are a lot of modes uh, on which your application will be going. This is the stop mode means your app is not being tapped on the icon yet. So this is the second one we have got at stop. Now after that we have got other modes like at pause, maybe you have moved your application into the background, you were playing some games, a call came up and your application is now at the pause mode. And finally, the running mode, which is everybody is familiar of what is running mode. So when you want to go from one method to another phase of your application, you are being given a lot of uh, ways or a lot of methods that you can overwrite. And one of the very famous one is you have already seen is on create. Okay, the wrong choice of the color there. Okay, I'll choose the yellow one here. Okay, so it is on create. And I should actually write it just like how you define them. So let me just try that again. So it's on create. So this is your on create. Now again, you have to bear with my uh, handwriting there. Okay. So when your app is non existent and want to go from non existent almost at a stop method, it will use an on create method there. Again, all of the things I'm writing are methods here. Now from the stop, if you want to go into the pause mode, you have to check out another guy, which is I'll, I'll choose a green color here, which is on start here. So on start. So this is the method you choose when you go from the stop mode to the pause mode. And that is why I'm writing it specifically at that position. And if you want your app to go from pause mode to running mode, you use the on resume method. So let me just write it with the red maybe. So this is the on resume method. Now, uh, you might be wondering that, hey, I don't use these kinds of methods. Usually in my application, there is just on create an app goes from the non existent to the running. Yes, that's a good point. But uh, 
Your application is made to be going into that phase. If you haven't written any override function, you don't want to do anything, it will just keep on passing. So from on create, from a non-existing, it will go into the stop, pause, and come uh, continuously to the running without any obstruction if you haven't written any code for that. It is meant and it is designed just like that way. And these are not the only methods. There are still three more. Three more. Like for example, from running to pause, you want to go into that direction, how you can go and do that. So for that particular kind of method we have, yes, you guessed that right, it's on pause. So we have got on pause. So you have got on pause method, you can just write on pause and can write some code. So from an application when, getting, when it is going to be from running to the pause mode, you have to use that method. And similarly, if you want to go from pause to stop, you have got on stop. So there we go, on stop method there. And finally, you might want to do something when your app is being destroyed or maybe for some bizarre reason, you might want to give a pop-up or toast to the user. Yes, there is a function uh, being there on destroy. And maybe you want to free up some memory or might want to check out few logs or maybe want to give some battery related issues and all those things. So yes, there are on destroy. So what we have learned in this particular video is that there are six basic functions which helps you to travel from one phase of the application to another phase. And basically there are four phases, which is when your app is not existent, that's one. The second is when your app is stopped, that's number two. And the third, when the app is on the pause mode, and the fourth when the app is running and from traveling from one to each we have got six method first is on create then we have got on start then we have got on resume one of the very famous which usually people use is on create and on start but again depending on your condition you might want to use on resume as well similarly if you want to go from running to the pause mode you can use uh, on pause from pause to stop you can use on stop and stop to destroy you can use on destroy so this is basically the whole overview idea of how your application behaves and how you can write customized code uh, if you want to play around with the lifecycle methods and again all of these are methods predefined so you might want to hit Control o on your Android Studio and might want to search for those methods and as soon as you find them hit uh, enter and the studio will write all those codes and obviously we will be seeing all of these methods and codes live in action as we go on and move on into the course so that's all about it so I hope you have enjoyed this video and now let's get ahead and move on into the course